Hello, Dr. Rusty. Fanny Flap here. That's right. I am such a fan of your program, honey. Let me tell you how wonderful I think it is. Well, I just wanted to contribute a little information to your community shout-out um, segment of your program there. I thought it was very important for everybody to know that tomorrow, get out your calendar, sweeties. That's right. Tomorrow is International Kill the Annoying Guest Day. Yeah, that's right. It's pretty much self-explanatory, but I'll go into a little bit of detail for your listeners there, honey. All right. What it is, is you go through your phone book. You go through, you know, the phone numbers you got stored in your little cellular phone there. All right, and you go through and you look through all the lists of the people who come to your house uninvited all the time. Those annoying guests who decide that it's easier to piss on your bathroom floor than to actually hit the water that's in the little hole there. Yeah, what the hell is up with that? I don't understand, but they're one of the examples of an annoying guest, all right? Now, what you do is you invite all these people over for a party, a barbecue, whatever gets them interested to come over. Free food. That usually works. Yes, the free food, the free food ploy is great. All right. So you invite all your friends over, friends over, right? And there are many ways of killing these people. Now, I, I really advise that everybody is creative with the killing because otherwise it gets a little dull after the 10th or 11th victim there, all right? So, I'm just going to offer my own suggestions of my favorite ways of killing people, all right? My, my very first and favorite suggestion is, well, you see, what you do is you get a really big knife. That's right. All you got to do is give them a plate of cookies, a, a plate of um, the favorite pastry or meats, see, like pate and whatnot. Then you just sneak up behind them when they're not even looking, and you take the knife, and you proceed to dig it right into the scalp until they, they twitch a little at first. But, you know, if, if, if your knife is nice and sharp and made for boning things, boning knives are perfect, darlings. If they're that sharp, you can finish the job off quickly. The twitching stops within seconds. Okay. Now, may I offer my second suggestion for effective killing? All right. Now, if you have one of these laying around, if not, you can order one somewhere, I'm sure. This is a gangster stick, see? Gangster sticks are wonderful for bludgeoning people when they're not looking. Yes, you can, they're quiet, they're lightweight. They're lightweight until you're crapping your fucking skull for stealing your beer and taking your last hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Gangster sticks are wonderful. I love it. It's one of my favorite toys. All right. Anyway, I just thought that I would tell you um, a couple other things. One other way that you can kill your guests is with a little grapefruit spoon, the kind that have the little jagged edges on it. You can give your, your, your guest a nice plate of watermelon. Yeah, have some watermelon, honey. You're such a dear friend. Then you take the little grapefruit spoon that has the little serrated edges on the edge there. You come up behind them. You dig it right in your eye socket. You dig it in until their eyes pop out and they go across the room and they're standing there flailing on the ground and they're crying for a little bit. <laughs> it's a great time, let me tell you. I love that part. <laughs> anyway. My hair's going a little crazy. It's it's rainy outside. The humidity kills me. Anyway, honey, Doc Rusty, you just keep right on the air, honey. I will listen every single time. And I've um I just wanted to let you know that there are that tomorrow is International Kill You Annoying Guest Day. I hope it helps the community, darling. Take care.